Hi, where are you from? In suburban Chicago. What's your name? The ever impressive. But never do it. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing just great. Right now, you are looking at the, what is this, the SGR C1 Schecter body, and it's got the black diamond flake on here, and wow, this thing really came out really nice, other than my fingerprints being all over it. Now, you can really see the metal flake inside here, the metallic that's in here, really good. In the sun, it really pops out with this clear coat on here. So what I gotta do next with it is basically wet sand the body and get it ready for the next steps. Now the reason why I put a clear coat on this was to protect the black diamond paint that is underneath the clear coat. So if I end up doing my striping and stuff or however I'm gonna do the artwork on here and I go ahead and apply the next coats of paint that I have, that paint will have something to bite into as far as you know the, the scratches that are in the clear coat. Not only that, if there's any type of a uh, problem with the masking tape and some paint might go underneath it or something, it's easy to fix without having a problem with going through to the black diamond that's underneath the clear. So basically what I'm going to be doing right now is just sanding, just rough sanding the black diamond, smoothing it out. And it'll be the whole body, because I'm going to do the whole body with a candy apple red. Uh, but the front is the only part that's going to have the artwork on it. So this is really, really, really going to have a, um, a really pop, like popping effect to it. So I'm going to start sanding right now. A lot of this is going to be block. Some of it's going to be done by hand. So like the top of this is going to be done by hand, but the back of it and possibly the sides will be done by block. I could probably get away with doing the sides by hand. Uh, but the back definitely because it's a nice flat surface. I want to keep it that way So I'm gonna go ahead and take my paper. I've got some 800 grit paper right here I want to be careful around the edges, but I do want to smooth this all out And dull it down from the nice clear that it is now. I don't want to see any black color But I definitely want to scratch the surface on this and smooth everything out to where the next layers of paint have something to bite into. I also have the pickups that I have to sand a little bit too because I ended up putting the black diamond on them as well. And they're also going to be kind of like camouflaged with the artwork as well. So it'll look like one big uh, mirror or picture or whatever you want to call it on here instead of having so many breakups with the bridge and this, that, and the other. So right now, I am going to sand this down. I'm not worried about removing orange peel. I'm not worried about, because uh, I'm not setting this up to be a buff. I'm setting this up to be another spray. So the 800 grit is not really a polishing sandpaper. And I'm using my fingers. I'm going side to side, not front to back. And the reason why I'm doing it this way is because I want it to have the appearance of being block sanded without actually being block sanded. So I would call this top being done. Get all the water to dry. And start working on the back. Like I said, the back I want to use a block on.
All right, so there is no black in the water. The water is just very cloudy. That means that I didn't go through this clear coat and I could probably actually go to the next couple of stages of sandpaper and polish this thing out, like buff, buff it out. If I really wanted to, but nope, this is gonna get the artwork that I've been looking for. Just gotta get the water to dry now. Now the next paint has got something to stick to. I don't have any spray can air cans, so I'm gonna have to let this air dry before I can start masking this for the ghost flame. Meanwhile, I need to sand I need to sand the top of the pickups and the pickup ring. So I have to disassemble this, give it a light sanding, and then put it back together. And let's see where which one's which now. This one goes here. one goes here, light it up a little bit better, those go there, and then once they have the sanding done on them, they'll blend in with this.